Hi everyone, I'm Shahnaz from CrochetDreams.com and today I'm going to share a mock granny stitch blanket. I designed this using the Burnet blank yarn which is very soft and squishy. I modified the stitch to suit the thickness of the yarn and I tried to pack the stitches closer together so you get a warm squishy blanket for your baby. You don't fasten off after every roll but you just carry the strands along the side so you won't have too many tails to weave in at the end of your blanket. You might just have two or three. I added a simple single crochet border with a little bit of variation to add some texture and character to it. To make the blanket, I used three colors, light teal from Bernard Blanket and colors vanilla and sea foam from Bernard Baby Blanket Yarn. They're both very similar and come in the same thickness and they come in many colors. So you will be able to combine any three colors of your choice and make this beautiful afghan for a girl or for a boy. And for this blanket, I used a 10 millimeter crochet hook. So gather your supplies and let's get started. You can chain any multiple of two plus three. For a blanket that was 40 inches wide, I chained 67 to start. For the purpose of this video, I'll be chaining 15, that is any multiple of 2 plus 3. So let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now let's begin row 1. Work a half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. The loop on your hook never counts as a stitch so this is 1, 2 and 3. This is the third one. So work a half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. To work a half double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook. Insert your hook into the chain. Pull up a loop. And when you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the three. That completes a half double crochet. Now skip the next chain and work two half double crochet into the next. So that's one. And that is the second half double crochet. Skip the next chain and work two half double crochet in to the next and you repeat that until you reach the end of the row and you have two chains left skip the next two half double crochet into the next so keep working like that for your first row skip the next and two half double crochet into the next Now I have just two chains left and I will skip the next chain and work two half double crochet into the last one. But while I work my very last half double crochet, that is the second half double crochet into my last chain, I will be picking up the next light blue color yarn. And this is how I do it. So let's work the first half double crochet after skipping this chain and then I'll show you how to join the color. So I'm going to work my first half double crochet in the last chain. Now I'll start working my second one and when I have three loops left on my hook, I will pull through the next color. So start a half double crochet as usual, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, pull up a loop and when you have three loops left on your hook, instead of pulling through this same color, pick up the next color which is light blue and yarn over with that and pull through the three loops to complete your last half double crochet. Chain two and turn. So now you have joined the new color. Every time you join a new color, bring it to your left and leave the other two colors, take the other two colors, 
Now you only have one skein attached to your work, but in future you will be having two skeins attached. So you will take those colors to the right and keep them out of your way. And this strand that you're going to work with should be on top and to your left. So now I've brought one of the skeins that is attached to the right and I'll turn, turn my work. And now let's begin row two. To begin row two, work two half double crochet in to the next stitch, not the first stitch which from which your chain two is emerging. This is the next one. Into that, work two half double crochet. Your beginning chain two will count as your first half double crochet throughout the pattern. So skip the first stitch and work two half double crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and work two half double crochet into the next. Skip the next, work two half double crochet into the next. Keep working like that until you have a half double crochet and the beginning chain left. Skip one and work two half double crochet in the next. And now I have two stitches left. That is one half double crochet and the beginning chain. So I will skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the top of beginning chain two. But while I finish my half double crochet, I will pick up the next color, which is cream. So start your half double crochet as usual, yarn over, insert your hook into the top of beginning chain two, pull up a loop, and when you have that is leaving a hole so I will go down and catch two loops there pull up a loop and when you have three loops left on your hook yarn over the new color cream to complete your half double crochet now chain two Place your light blue color to the right so it stays out of the way and now turn your work and now you're ready to work row three let's begin row three your beginning chain two counts as the first half double crochet work a half double crochet into the first stitch this is your first stitch the stitch from which your chain two is emerging so work one more half double crochet into the same stitch skip the next stitch and work two half double crochet into the next keep working like that until you have three stitches left so we are now on row three with the cream color yarn most of the rows are similar but except for the beginning and the end which will be a little different. Once you establish the pattern it's always skip one and two half double crochet in the next. So you have to work that sequence until there is three stitches left. So now I have three stitches left that is the two half double crochet and the beginning chain two. So skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the next and one half double crochet on top of beginning chain two while joining the dark blue color back. And we had just dropped the color so we can just pick it up from there and join it back. So skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the next. Sorry and half double crochet on top of the beginning chain two while joining back the next color. So I'll just pick up the blue color that we dropped and then bring it close and pull through to join it. Make sure the side strand is not too tight. It has enough loose. It shouldn't be too loose that it shows through your border. So make sure it has 
just the enough size to run along the side of your blanket. And now chain two. Keep your cream color yarn to your right so it stays out of the way. Your working yarn should always be to your left and the other two onto your right. So chain two and turn. And now we're ready for row four. To begin row four, two half double crochet in the next stitch. This is the first one and this is the second. So work two half double crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and work two half double crochet into the next. Skip the next and work two half double crochet into the next. Keep working like that until you have two stitches left. That is one half double crochet and a beginning chain two is left. So I'll, I'll keep going. Skip the next stitch and work two half double crochet in the next. And now I have two stitches left. So I'll skip the next half double crochet and work a half double crochet into the beginning chain while picking up the light blue color again. So it's already on this side, you just have to pick it up and join like that. So let's do that. Skip the next one and work your half double crochet into the beginning chain. And when you have three loops left on your hook, just take your light blue color yarn from your side and pull through the three loops to complete row four. Chain two with the light blue color joined. Now keep the blue color to your right, the dark blue color to your right because we just joined the light blue and that should be on your left. And so that completes row four. So you can see how your stitches are stacked like in a granny square. And I've made the gaps pretty small so you get a warmer blanket. And now you can turn and start working row three again. To make your whole blanket, you will repeat rows three and four until you have a total of 43 rows and you end in a dark blue color row. So I'll do a few more rows and I'll join you back and show you how to work the border. I've worked a few more rows now and let's assume that this blue row is my last row of the blanket which is my 43rd row. It will be a repeat of row 4 and now I'm going to work my last half double crochet on top of beginning chain 2. I'll skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet in the very last stitch which is the beginning chain 2. And while I do that I will pick up the light blue color for the border. So I'm going to walk my half double crochet into the last stitch and when I have three loops left in my hook I will join back the light blue color yarn. So now we're ready for the border and before that you can cut off all the extra yarn that's joined to your blanket and keep them out of your way. You won't need them anymore because we'll just be working on the border now. Chain one at the corner and work a single crochet in the point, work two single crochet in the point right after the corner. That will help you turn. So work one single crochet that left the gap so I'll try to dig deeper. Next single crochet. And while you're working your single crochet make sure you work around the strands that are running along the side. The ones that came from changing colors. So you will work around them to hide them. So you will distribute your single crochet stitches in such a way that they're tightly packed and these strands don't show through. But don't add too many stitches or your work will start waving at the edges. So keep working single crochet stitches all along the side of your blanket until you reach, until you reach the next corner. And then you will add two single crochet here and two single crochet here. That is on either side of the corner to help you turn. 
keep working. Single crochet stitches. Now you're near the corner, so worked, worked two single crochet before the corner and two right after it. Now turn and work two single crochet right after it. Work single crochet stitches distributed across your foundation chain side. And when you reach the next corner, work two single crochet on either side of the corner. I like to go into the gaps here. So go ahead and keep working your single crochet stitches all around your blanket and taking care to put two single crochet on each side of every corner you hit. So I'll meet you at the end of this single crochet round and show you how to add the second one. Now I'm going to reach back where I started. So I'll work a single crochet into each of the stitches on the last row and when I'm near the border I'll work, when I'm near the corner I'm sorry, I'll work two single crochet to help me turn and then slip stitch into the very first single crochet to complete my first row of the border. Now let's begin round two of your border. Chain one, work two single crochet in the next stitch, that is a stitch right after your chain, work two single crochet into it, skip the next stitch and work two single crochet into the next, skip the next and work two single crochet into the next. Keep working like that until you're near the corner. Around one stitch before the corner. Skip the next stitch and one single crochet, two single crochet into the next. Skip the next, two single crochet into the next skip the next and two single crochet into the next keep working like that until you are around one stitch away from the corner okay so i have two stitches before the corner uh, and i'll skip the next one and work two single crochet in all the three stitches around the corner that will help me turn so i'm skipping the next stitch and working two single crochet in each of the next three stitches around the corner. Working a border is not an exact science, so if you feel like your border is tight, come back and feel free to add another single crochet where you skipped the stitch. So I've worked three increases or two single crochet in each of the three stitches around the corner and then skip the next stitch and two single crochet in the next. Skip the next, two single crochet in the next, keep working like that until you are near the next corner and around that you will work two single crochet in three stitches to help you turn. So follow the pattern and work around your entire blanket and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Now I have reached back where I started and I have two stitches left so I will work two single crochet into each of them to help me turn and then slip stitch into the first single crochet to complete the round. Slip stitch and fasten off 
and now you can go ahead and weave in the, those tails that hang outside you don't have anything on the side I have already woven in some of mine so you can use a big tapestry needle to weave in your tails and you can even use a smaller hook to pull through the tails through your blanket and finish it if you love this squishy blanket don't forget to like subscribe and press that bell icon to receive notifications when I post new patterns. Remember, you will always find the links to my written patterns in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.